Hey guys, it's Golden Steel TV here. We're back with another Minecraft video, and uh, as promised, the the cottage video is now here. And uh, this is actually my second attempt at doing this tour video. The first attempt, I recorded it, but for some reason, the video, the the first attempt ended up getting lost. The first attempt was much longer, but, uh, and with me riding the train instead of flying like I am right now, but, uh, but, but, but man, did I fumble the bag. It's, it's my fault, it's my fault for doing that. But don't worry, I got, I got the sec, the, the second attempt at this is shorter, and should be shorter, and, uh, than the first attempt which was longer and uh, like I said it had me riding uh, and had me riding on the train instead of the instead of flying instead of flying right but uh anyways now we'll let's do this tour video without further ado Um, okay, now let's talk sports before, let's talk sports before we get to the tour. Um, in football, the Bears finally broke their losing streak, which la which have been going on for o almost a year. Their last win was a Monday night football, was in the Monday night football game against the Patriots. Another thing I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get to, uh, some later in this video. If there is time, um, the Bears put out a monstrous performance against the Commanders, blowing them out by 40 to 20. Um, Justin Fields has been, is finally is finally starting to perform like the quarterback he was supposed to be. Plus, DJ Moore had a monstrous performance that sh that showed what that sh that that proved how that proved why the bears gambled on him to be, to be their to be their to be the receiver to be the number one receiver they wanted him to be and for and uh yeah the duo fields and more is is starting to flourish after after that monstrous performance as well as the a performance from the week before which I'm not going to talk about because it's too painful to talk about. But, uh, but other than that, I'm extremely happy that it's, that we finally got a win after a minute. It feels like, feels like a long time, but time has flown and, but, and, uh, it just feels good to be a, to have a win. It's just sweet. It's just, it's just sweeter getting a win more than anything else. But the Bears still have some flaws to address. Their coach isn't that good, and uh, they have two draft picks for for 2024, which some say could be, which some that some people believe could be used on Caleb Williams, a quarterback out of USC, and Mar and Marvin Harrison Jr. out of Ohio State, who is the son of the of Marvin's of Hall of Fame receiver. Marvin Marvin Harrison Sr. Um but uh but things have but that could change now. Yeah. The only reason they have two draft picks is because of is is the result of the the trade with the Panthers to get DJ Moore and uh and uh, uh so someone's talking so fucking loud. Um in the background, um, it's sorry about that, Tom. Um, um uh, since the Panthers are the last team remaining with a with a winless record, if they keep if they go winless, which may which probably won't happen, but uh, but if they end up with the worst record, the Bears could end up with a number one pick again. 
but, but, but only time will tell how the Bears will end up. How the Bears' two draft picks for 2024 will end up. So, so, so we'll see what happens from here for the Bears. Okay. Okay. Um, the Patriots, the team that used to be, that used to be a team to scared to be scared of and to hate on, is now becoming is now becoming trash. I'm not joking. They are really trash. Um, Mac Jones doesn't appear to be the long-term answer at quarterback. Bill Belichick is now is starting to become the the Tom Landry that the the that Landry was was during the late 80s when the Cowboys were struggling. It seems like the game has flown by Belichick and and even though there have been calls for him to get fired, since he's so powerful, being both coach and, and GM, it doesn't seem like Belichick is going to go anywhere anytime soon. But the Patriots, on the, but for the team, but as for the team, the Patriots really, really suck. Both the offense and defense have been beaten up with injuries and they just suck. I'll talk more about this. Because now we are here at the cottage. I'll talk more about that topic after the tour, if time allows me. Okay, here we are. But the we're at the cottage. Um, it took me it took me a month or so to to get it done. Um, as you can see, it is finished. I'll get to that name in just a sec, but right now, let's do a tour inside. This is a sunroom. Um, although this is not the sunroom that that it's designed to be, it still has a good view of the of the hills and the the pool and the jacuzzi that I'll explore in just a sec, and as well as the trees and mountains. So it gives, so this should give anyone here a nice, relaxed, a beautiful view while they're concentrating on something here. We got the dining room as well, with a window up here, and we also got the kitchen. It is small, but it is what it is. Um, Alright. Alright, um and we got the front we got the lawn, the pool, and the jacuzzi tub. Alright. Alright. Yeah, we got the pool and the jacuzzi tub here, like I said. And the lawn here, which will be used for gatherings, barbecues, parties, and whatnot that the royal family members can have here. Alright, and we got the living room. It's windowless, but it's just the way it is. Don't worry about that. And we got another, we got the second entrance here. <coughs> and the hallway. And the rest of the tour is just going to be bedrooms and, uh, and another room to look at, as I'm gonna sleep in one of those rooms. Uh, this this bedroom design is gonna be similar to the ones we're gonna we're gonna take a look at in just a sec. Um. Yeah, that's what that yeah that's what I said. Similar design. These rooms are bigger here. For the high-ranking royal family members, we got the bathroom, the in here, the the shower, the bathtub, the toilet, and the sink. 
nothing else to write home about regarding this bathroom. And now here we have the the king and queen's bedroom. Um, with a window up front on the back of on the on the back between the beds. Although it's not it's not the it's not the best. Although it's not the best view from the window. If you look. If you step farther away, if you if you go a bit farther from the window, um, you could you could look at the trees and what else is there. But uh, but yeah, like I said, it, it's just designed the way it is. Don't worry about that. It's just how I built this. All right. This cottage is situated near the ocean. And close to the lake, and, and close to the big lake, and the mount, the mountains, and the forests. All right. Yeah, it's supposed to be secluded from the rest of the, from the from the rest of the outside world, um, allowing the royal family members to to get away and. And be able to and be able to come here in peace without without getting hounded by anyone that's trying to ch find, chase and find them. All right, and from the and uh, yeah, yeah, it's surrounded by the by beautiful by beautiful landscape. And a calm and peaceful nature around them. It was just a perfect spot to to build this cottage. Um, we got the name of this cottage, Forest Lake Cottage, which is which is aptly named, just because this cottage is located close to the forest and and to the and to the big lake here at that you're looking at now. Um. And the name in Spanish as well. Uh, if that's not enough. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's it for this tour. Um, I if I'm not gonna uh, this tour may have been short, but hopefully I got to everything that that you saw in this tour. Um, if I missed out on something of, of uh, about the cottage during the tour, let me know and. Uh, I might, and uh, I might point it out in the next video or so, or in the description, even better. Okay, now back to sports. Um, the Patriots, on both offense and defense, not only de not only decimated by injuries, but they just suck. The receiver core, the receiver core sucks. The offensive line isn't doing a great job. The on defense, they were always elite for so many years under Bill Belichick's stewardship, but but they're not playing like the defense they were they were all that they always played played like, and uh, not only that. That defense can't can't do anything again when they get blown out. And uh, yeah, it's just embarrassing to see that the Patriots, that used to be a team to be scared of and to hate on, has now fallen off the cliff. Off the cliff, and and it doesn't seem like they're gonna be a, a threat to to the AFC. Or the AFC East anytime soon. All right, we're gonna take a look at the arena. It was set up for WWE SmackDown, as you can see. But what now? But now we're just gonna disassemble it and turn it into the basketball arena in time for the upcoming NBA season. There isn't much to talk about in the NBA, honestly. So. I'm just going to talk about football for for this video. 
Okay. Alright. And so with So with the Patriot struggles in mind, um what what should they do? Um that's a good question, but honestly it's a tough question to to, to answer. Cause Bill Belichick has been has been a coach and GM for since since the year two thousand and uh for years he's he's made questionable uh, he's made questionable drafting decisions and he's missed out on some some receiver studs over the years. Sure, he had guys such as Randy Moss, Wes Welker, and Julian Edelman, but but other than Moss, n neither of the neither of the latter two have are Hall of Famers, much le much less the uh, much less elite receivers during their prime. And uh, and uh, they've missed and uh, many of the receivers he's drafted have turned out to be not that good or just or just average that were never stars at all. And now it's coming back to haunt him as some of the receivers he passed on have have made a name for themselves. It's it would I would try to name the receivers he's passed on, but that's a long list. All you need to know is that he doesn't know he doesn't know which he he just he he doesn't know how to evaluate receivers that that are that are on the board. And and uh, rebuilding, f and if the Patriots decide to rebuild, it's not going to be an easy task. The A of the AFC has caught up to them, and uh, so has the AFC East. And uh, given the position they're they're in now, it's going to be ver it's not going to be. It's not going to be very easy for them to to catch up and to try to be on the same to try to be on the same pace as the other t as the other jo AFC juggernauts. So no matter who they draft next year, um, rebuilding is going to be a tough and painful process they have to undergo if they decide on that. So honestly, I'm not too optimistic about their future, given the state of the AFC now and uh, the rest of the AFC East. Don't expect the Patriots to be a playoff contender anytime soon, unless something drastically happens to that team. So sorry, Patriots fans. That's that's what I think, but that's what I have to say. Okay. All right. I use that end the of 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 that arena for for smack for wrestling, um, concerts and other stuff. All right. Still disassembling the the SmackDown set for for the basketball arena, for the basketball court. Alright. At least the Patriots don't have to worry about the being the worst team in the NFL. The Giants are still being the worst team in the NFL. Um however there's one team that that take that there is one other team that can take the cake. The Broncos. Even though Russ has been even though Russ has bounced back a little, um they've the Broncos are still struggling, and 
Sean Payton doesn't appear to be the answer, despite his reputation and accomplishments. And, uh... He's made some questionable coaching calls, um, like like in the, like the questionable timeout call in the final seconds of the second quarter against the Chiefs. Um, other than that, the defense really sucks. Um, Vance Joseph is not the is not doesn't is not doing a great is not is not doing a great job as the defensive coordinator. And, uh, and, uh, as a result of this, they get, they often, they, they've often, they often struggle mightily against top offenses as, which was obvious against the, against the Dolphins when they got blown out 70 to 20. And, uh, the only reason they've only, they've won one game so far this season was because they had to face the Bears that were winless at the time. And, uh... And now their true colors are showing. This team... It's been... It's been seven years since they last won a ring in 2016. And, uh... And a lot has changed for that team. And, uh... They've been stuck in the middle of no man's land f for this long. To see the team that's t that's continue that's continuing to suck like that, you gotta feel bad for the Broncos fans. And uh, this and uh, and uh, don't expect much positivity for the for the Broncos anytime soon going forward. Alright. Alright, starting to set up the basketball court. One last football related thing for now. Taylor Swift continues to show up at the at the Chiefs games as a result of her as a result of as as she is as she's apparently dating tra as she's apparently been dating Travis Kelsey for like a, a while now. She's shown up so far at the Chiefs games against the Bears, the Jets, and just recently the Broncos as of this recording. As a result of that new relationship, viewership for for those game for do, for those aforementioned games um have shot up, with many of the viewers coming from young from from young girls and women who are Swifties desperately trying to tr desperately trying to 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 catch a glimpse of of Swift uh, watching her. Of watching her rumored boyfriend play, um, and uh, yeah, Kel Travis himself has said that uh, that the NFL is doing too much promoting that, promoting his, promoting his new relationship, um, and uh. Yeah, I don't blame him if they're, but uh, but because, yeah, this basketball court is, is now set up and complete, just in time for the basketball season, but uh, but the reason they're promoting his new relationship is because, well, we all know that the NFL loves money, publicity, and ratings, and as such, they they're willing to do anything to to increase to increase ratings for their games. And uh, 
and the, the new and their promotion of Travis Kelsey's new relationship with Taylor Swift is no exception is no excep exception to that. As long as they're as long as they're date for as long as they're dating together, the Chiefs games will continue to see increased viewership for the time. Uh, until something happens to the relationship, whether they break up or whatever happens. So the Chiefs games are going to continue to see uh, uh, an increase in viewership and ratings until uh, for as long as as long as Swift and Kelsey are together. So yeah. All right. Okay, I'm done talking for the to f football for now. Um, um, I don't know which video to do next, but I'll I'll try to brainstorm the ideas. Um, honestly, not much ideas that I have in my brain for now, but uh, when I come up with one and I make a video, and I turn that into a video. I'll make it and and bring it to life onto YouTube. And uh yeah. The Battalion Chief video is coming soon, maybe into uh, maybe November or December. What or I don't know, but only time will tell. And I'll try to make that video when I can. All right. These are my cats Sam, Toby, and there's two more I want to show you for now to wrap up the video. Um, my cat Daniel and Garfunkel. And yes, Garfunkel is named after one half of Simon and Garfunkel for all you music fans watching this. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.